Hey y'all, TRG here, and in this video we'll be going over severe weather potential in Texas and Oklahoma, as well as a few other states. We'll also go over the potential for a weak snowstorm in the northeastern side of the U.S., as well as a cold blast that will be impacting much of the central and northeastern U.S. Let's go right on into today's video. We're going to start out here with your SPC outlooks. So this is for today. We've got a slight risk level 2 out of 5 for severe weather, as well as a marginal risk 1 out of 5 around that. Primary threats today will be tornadoes. Tornadoes. They did expand that 5% chance down considerably to the south and west. We have a 2% chance that goes all the way up towards like Shawnee and OKC, Oklahoma. Damaging winds will also be another primary threat where we could see 70 to potentially up to 80 mile per hour winds around the Abilene and well to the west of Fort Worth, Texas areas. And hail actually is not on the table for an issue today. We could still see a half inch to an inch in diameter hail, but that SBC hasn't outlined any notable risks for hail today. Going into tomorrow, we have a very large marginal risk level 1 out of 5 and another slight risk level 2 out of 5 for severe weather. Primary threats for tomorrow will be a very large 2% chance for tornadoes with a 5% chance for tornadoes in and around the Wichita Falls, Fort Worth, and OKC area. Damaging winds will also be a primary concern as we could see up to 70 mile an hour winds in that yellow area. And then we also could see some isolated, very small to potentially up to large hail, about an inch, inch and a half in diameter, all the way from near the Kansas City metro area, all the way down to Austin, Texas for tomorrow. Taking a look here at your HRRR model run of four later on today, really not going to see much severe weather anywhere in Texas until we get towards around the midnight 1 a.m. Eastern time frame. We'll start to see some strong to severe storms pop off here in southwestern west central Texas. Those will eventually grow rapidly upscale and to a line of damaging winds with embedded tornadoes as we go towards 2 to 3 a.m. Eastern. And then as we go towards about 6 to 7 a.m. Eastern, this line is going to be just to the west of the DFW area. And by the time we get towards 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern, this line will be moving through the DFW region and beginning to dissipate shortly after it moves through. This line will rapidly, rapidly lose intensity after 11 a.m. Eastern. Once it passes the Dallas area, you'll see this line rapidly decrease in intensity. We could see a spin-up tornado potential up here in Oklahoma and Kansas as we go towards the 4 to 5 p.m. time frame tomorrow, as well as that same time frame also down here in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. However, that severe weather threat did downtrend significantly over the last 12 hours, so there's all good news there. Before we dive on into the rest of today's video, I ask that you guys go ahead and hit that like button, share this video with your family, friends, and on social media to help spread weather awareness. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell set to all so you know when I go live or upload a video. We will be live later on today, November 17th at about 6 p.m. Eastern. Let's go right back on into today's video. So this is the mean snowfall accumulation for the next about 160 hours, basically until Saturday. And you can see our main area for a minimal winter storm will be up here in the northeastern side of the U.S., uh, where we have some lake effect potential out there in Watertown, New York. I don't think this will be a big winter storm and definitely nothing even remotely close to a major winter storm, but we could pick up on anywhere between two to six inches of snowfall out there in like western Pennsylvania, southwestern New York, and then towards Watertown, you could pick up on anywhere between four to potentially 10 inches of snowfall in both of those purple areas there. Our main winter storm, though, that is ongoing right now is actually out there in the Pacific Northwest, uh, where we could see a whole lot more snowfall. We're talking up to about three to four feet of snowfall in the higher elevations of Northern California mountain ranges out here in Oregon and Washington state as well as Idaho. We also could pick up on some snowfall out here in the Midwest. Unfortunately, I don't think it will be that much of a snowstorm, but we could still see isolated areas, especially in western Michigan, uh, where we could see up to two inches of snowfall, and then probably a dusting for areas in like northern, northeastern Ohio, but not really much good snowfall there. Tropical storm Sarah hit the Yucatan Peninsula very late last night as a weak tropical storm. It's currently a a tropical depression and is really rapidly falling apart over the Yucatan Peninsula. So that is good news there. It should quite quickly move into the Gulf of Mexico. And in terms of U.S. impacts, I don't think we're going to be seeing a whole lot in the U.S. out of the leftover of uh, Sarah out here. You'll see the GFS model run does
does have some precipitation um, out there in Florida and Alabama as we go towards the 19th of November. So just really heavy rain from the moisture of Sarah. So it won't be like directly coordinated with Sarah. Just the moisture left over from Sarah will be able to enhance some heavy rainfall potential out there in like Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. In terms of temperatures, we're going to be seeing a blast of cold air as we go towards November 21st, which is the morning of Thursday. And look at that. We could see a very large area of the U.S. that gets very close to the freezing point out here all the way from, of course, Montana, but all the way into potentially central Tennessee and as far eastward as eastern Pennsylvania and southeastern New York. But the primary area for cold air is definitely going to stay up here in the north central U.S., uh, where we could see potentially going into the 20s and the teens out there in areas like most of North Dakota and South Dakota. Now let's look at the 500 millibar wind speeds on the GFS model run. So this is what's going to cause our severe weather threat very late tonight into tomorrow. It's this a negatively tilted trough ejection overnight tonight out here in Texas and Oklahoma. That will make its way up to the northeastern side of the U.S., which will help bring in some cold air out here uh, towards November 20th and 21st. Then we'll see another indent in the jet stream begin to form towards November 20th. That will also help with cold air blasting further into the southeastern, I should say more the central side of the United States and also bring that snowfall potential for areas like New York and Pennsylvania and some pretty good lake effect snowfall out there near Watertown, New York as we go towards November 21st. Then after that, this system will kind of just hang around in the Northeast for a couple days until it eventually meanders off the coastline of the Northeastern side of the U.S. as we go towards November 23rd, November 24th. Then we'll get back on into another trough ejection here towards November 25th. That could bring another snowstorm potential somewhere in the U.S., but specifics on that are obviously way too far out to determine. And then beyond that, you know, we're really just looking into fantasy land here. But the GFS does have another trough uh, as we go towards the end of November. And then in the beginning of December, it has another big snowstorm. So... Uh, yeah, but that's that's just the fantasy of the GFS model run. I do think we have the potential for another snowstorm before we close out November. Uh, just the that blast of cold air that's coming in on November 21st. Uh, all it, all we really need is another trough ejection with that blast of cold air in place, and we could get a pretty good snowstorm. And then the GFS has a low pressure that takes advantage of that cold air, and then boom, you get a snowstorm up here in the uh, central side of the U.S. So that's all it will take to get a good snowstorm. Uh, in the latter half of November is that cold air just stays around and we get a low pressure that takes advantage of that. So uh, just the main thing that we're going to be watching over the next couple days, definitely that severe threat out there in Oklahoma, Texas, uh, the snowfall up here in the Northeast. And then, of course, we're going to have that big blast of cold air towards November uh, 20th and November 21st. So I really appreciate you guys watching. So hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and stay safe. Watch the severe weather, the tropics and the snowfall. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.